there are hugs where you just throw up your arms and go for it. And then there are hugs that keep going and going and going. Joe Biden wouldn't let Hillary go as they met on the tarmac at Scranton Airport. About four seconds into the hug, they semi-disengage. Nothing to see here, right? Wrong, because the vice president wouldn't unhand Hillary for almost 16 seconds. Notice how many times she tries to tap out. She lets it go, he does not. Uh, she tap out. Nope, she's just, uh, no, he's still holding on. Okay, second tap out, for God's sake, Joe, you gotta let go. This latest awkward hug would not have been microanalyzed if it hadn't been for all the other overly handy Biden moments. Critics collect them. Times when he gently rearranges a young girl's hair and whispers in her ear, then rearranges some more. There's nothing pervy here. The VP knows he's on camera at these swearing-in ceremonies, and the parents are right there as he leans in for a kiss. <laughs> the VP is known as a close talker. He even does it to the president. <laughs> Perhaps his most famous hands-on moment came when he put his hands on the wife of Defense Secretary Ash Carter. We've got a lot of thanks to give out. Here. Conservatives panned it. This is the yeah. creepiest thing. And so did some liberals. <laughs> no, that ain't right, man. That ain't right. Why are you appeared to smell her hair? At least the VP didn't get that close to Hillary. Now, Hillary and President Obama have come a long way in their history of hugging. From this paltry excuse for a hug eight years ago after he defeated her to this. A hug so close that Hillary closed her eyes. They even gazed into each other's eyes. This was a hug so novel for these two, it looked like the cover of a romance novel. Genie Mo, CNN, New York.